Hello everyone, I am Dr. Arjun S. Kashyap, Consultant Interventional Pulmonologist at Sri Shankara Cancer Hospital. Today, we are going to discuss about interventions in pulmonary medicine that can help patients with cancer. So, the interventions can be broadly divided into diagnostic and therapeutic interventions. Diagnostic interventions in the sense that they help us in arriving at a possible diagnosis and hence help us in treatment. Therapeutic are those which help in improving either the quality of life or in improving and relieving the symptoms of the patient. There are a few diagnostic procedures in interventional pulmonology, namely bronchoscopy, fluoroscopy, EBUS TBNA. So bronchoscopy is a procedure wherein a small fiber optic tube is uh, fed into the mouth or the nasal passages through the nasal passages into the airways main airways and the targeted uh, area in the lung and that can be combined with something known as a bronchoalveolar lavage or a transbronchial lung biopsy in cases where a suspicion of a tumor or a growth is uh, there we can go ahead and do a biopsy also we have the bronchoscopy and the ebus ebus stands for endobronchial ultrasound that is use of an ultrasound probe to identify and to avoid the vascular structures while uh, we are examining and taking samples out of mediastinal lymph nodes which are adjacent to the airways. So that again helps us in uh, making a diagnosis of tuberculosis versus cancer versus secondary infections and so on and so forth. Pleuroscopy. So, pleuroscopy and pleural biopsy is a procedure where patients are evaluated for breathlessness, where they may be having fluid inside the chest cavity, outside the lungs. Uh, a variety of reasons uh, can cause this condition. Uh, cancer being one of the commoner reasons, apart from tuberculosis, which is the widely uh, known reason in, the, in our country. So moving on to the therapeutic options, we have something known as a rigid bronchoscopy. We have, uh, which is a metallic tube uh, that is uh, placed into the airway under general anesthesia, which will also help us in uh, delivering oxygen, as well as allow us with our instruments to go and take care of whatever is causing the problem inside the airways. So sometimes we have patients who have uh, malignant lesions inside the airways which will impair breathing uh, and we can we have a variety of tools with us such as electrocautery apc laser and cryo cryotherapy so which can help us in debulking or removing the tissue and placing a tracheal or a bronchial tracheobronchial stent as and when required this provides a new lease of life to patients who often present in strider that is breathlessness at rest most patients are not even able to complete a single sentence and post procedure to see those patients walk away out of the hospital is really looks like a blessing. These patients are able to continue with their chemotherapy or radiation therapy whatever that is required to keep their cancer under control. The next procedure that uh, we see uh, we often uh, use in therapeutic uh, interventional pulmonology is something known as pleuroscopy and pleurodesis or an indwelling pleural catheter placement. As I said, a collection of fluid in the chest cavity outside the lung, a condition known as pleural effusion occurs with varying frequencies in different cancers such as cancers of the breast, cancers of the lung. So these have to be dealt with and if they are not responsive to chemotherapy, then we go ahead and with these procedures such as pleurodesis or placement of an indwelling pleural catheter in the subcutaneous plane which will help in draining out the fluid sequentially and thereby relieving patient symptoms. So these are the uh, procedures that we can use in patients with uh, cancer with particularly in those with recurring cancer or relapsing cancer so that we can improve the quality of life in these kind of patients. So, interventional pulmonology has a major role to play in the coming days in management of patients with cancer in both the diagnostic as well as the therapeutic benefit that it offers to the patients. Thank you.